Hey Hayden, what are you doing? I'm trying to create a dating profile. Oh really? What kind of ladies are you into? Well, she's got to be kind, funny, be able to take down a bear, and at least an 8 out of 10. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Do you think an 8's too high? Should I settle for a 7? That's just rude. But that aside, a bear? Really? Well, if she can't take down a bear, how is she supposed to protect me? I think your expectations are a little too high. What, would something like a gorilla be better? No, that would be worse. Fine. What about a lemur? Hello science enthusiasts, I'm Hayden Burkholder and welcome back to another episode of 300 Seconds of Science. Today we aren't talking about monkey business, we're talking about prosimian business. Now I know what you're thinking, what is a prosimian? Prosimian is a branch of the primate family that doesn't fall under monkey or ape. These include tarsiers, lorises, and lemurs. They are the most primitive of the primates, their name literally means before monkeys. Prosimians are only found in the Old World, which includes Africa, Europe, and Asia. Prosimians are the only primates native to Madagascar. Other primates didn't arrive until they learned how to build ships and sail the seas. Prosimians are considered to have a lower intelligence than monkeys of similar sizes. This leads prosimians to typically have simpler social settings. Most prosimians are nocturnal and live their lives as loners. There are some groups of prosimians that live together and have more of a family setting. Prosimians are very well adapted to their environment, and oftentimes they have very specialized traits. Like other primates, they have opposable thumbs. Prosimians are restricted to tropical woodlands, and many are nocturnal. This is due to competition with diurnal monkeys and rodents. Diurnal means that it's an animal that is awake during the day and sleeps at night. Sadly, most prosimians are critically endangered. Now that we know what prosimians are, let's talk about lemurs specifically. Lemurs are native to Madagascar and nearby Comoro Islands. Comoro Islands, what up? There's a large variety of them as well. Though lemur classification is subject to debate, it's widely accepted that there are five families and over a dozen genera. They come in many shapes and sizes. Due to human interference, at least 15 species of lemur have gone extinct. This includes the gorilla-sized lemur that used to roam Madagascar. They were recorded to get around 400 pounds. Now, the largest species is the Indri, which is roughly two to three feet tall. The smallest species is the Madame Berth's mouse lemur, which only grows to be three to four inches tall. Lemurs are social creatures that live in groups called troops. The ringtail lemurs troops have a troop leader who is the dominant female. Yes, lemurs live in a female dominated society. The troop leader decides where the group will go and what they will eat. Lemurs have a good sense of smell and sight, even at night. The main factor that contributes to whether a lemur is nocturnal or not is their size. Small lemurs are generally nocturnal, whereas large lemurs tend to be diurnal. Lemurs are omnivores, but smaller lemurs, especially nocturnal ones, tend to be more insectivores. Even though some nocturnal lemurs are more independent, they still sleep in a group with other lemurs. They are like roommates who never hang out, but just happen to live in the same apartment. You know what I mean, the roommates who have the oddly strong sense radiating out of their room? We often find this disturbing, but in lemur society, that's how they decide on a mate. The male lemur with the smelliest tail wins. The troop leader gets first choice when picking a mate. Lemurs usually have between one and six babies at a time. Baby lemurs are called pups. Pups will usually hang on their mother's stomach until they're about a month old, and then they ride on her back until they are weaned. You can always go see the classic ringtail lemurs in zoos, and some people have them as pets. Well friends, it looks like that's all we have time for. Thanks for watching another episode of 300 Seconds of Science. You can stay up to date on the science world by liking us on Facebook, following us on Instagram and Twitter, and subscribing on YouTube at ZTV 300 Seconds of Science. I'm Hayden Burkholder, and I'm not about monkey business, and you shouldn't be either. Go out, enjoy life, and stay curious. This program was produced by ZTV at the University of Akron. To find out how you can make Emmy-winning media, visit the UA School of Communication online. ZTV. Make media. Make a difference.